Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold the premium channel that is free. Um, it's free, but if you're watching this, you're premium. So I was scrolling on Twitter, which is already a problem. However, I did find this tweet. It piqued my interest. It made me uh, want to look into something that's related to crypto, which hold on, it's not gonna be what you think. This video is not gonna be about cryptocurrency at all, except for the fact our story today centers around a crypto bro couple of sorts. I deeply, deeply regret to inform you that this is the rap video of the woman who was just arrested as a part of an alleged husband-wife scheme that laundered nearly $4 billion in crypto. Wow. I want to learn more. So this video has now been privated, uh, but I saw it, or at least I saw some of it before I realized I needed to turn my camera on. And luckily for us, there are re-uploads of this. I do not know where to start this story. I kind of just like hit record, but essentially there was this 2016 hack of some crypto exchange. It was like $72 million in Bitcoin that was stolen in 2016 or whatever that is now worth like built like $5 million or something, billion. It has been traced back to these two tech professionals who are a husband and wife couple. I'll at first say that all of their crimes are alleged and we're just going off of you know what's been said to the public, but I don't care because the music video and the public persona of the person behind the music video, whether or not they were a part of a billion dollar crypto heist is something that I think you'll want to see. And by want to see, I mean you'll wish I never showed it to you and you'll actually hate me and you'll unsubscribe and you'll never come back. Or maybe you're a sick freak like me. <laughs> anyway, the husband doesn't matter. Today we're talking about Heather Morgan. Let's just say that I am concerned with Heather Morgan because I'm a huge fan of her rap career and not the crimes that she's, you know, been accused of. There's no, no legal concerns here. I just want to show you guys this cool new rapper that I found who's a crypto rapper, which crypto rapper, that's like, Peanut butter and jelly. That's that's what crypto needed always this whole time was a rapper. Heather Morgan is a serial entrepreneur, a SaaS investor, that's software as a service, surrealist artist and rapper, and then a little genie. Her rapper name is Razzle Khan, and I believe she raps about having money and stuff, but then her money comes from her business uh, adventures. I feel like I built this up a lot, so let's just watch this. Never forget, weirdest is most original. All the misfits and smart slackers. The people who are working smart, not hard. Let's go. That's me. That's I'm I'm your guy. I all of the above, please. This is my rap anthem now. Russell Khan, the Versace better win. Come real far, but don't know where I'm heading. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Okay, I gotta drop the bit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hold on. Does this have a genius page? Okay, so when you were the crocodile of Wall Street, what does that mean? You know, we've got the wolf of Wall Street, but what, like you're another part of the animal kingdom, but also in Wall Street. Is there like a whole Noah's Ark of Wall Street? I'm the uh, pig of Wall Street, and I'm the grizzly bear of Wall Street, and don't forget me, I'm the deer of Wall Street. <laughs> Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Okay, so... Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet? Who's gonna tell her crocodiles can't wear boots? Or they can. They just choose not to. She's uh, not like other crocodiles. <laughs> it's just pretty much what we're learning here. Email me. Fuck your message at the beep. Email me. Don't call me. That shit. <laughs> we don't fuck around with phone calls in on Wall Street. Spirit of a revolutionary power of a big Tater, love to be contrary, but I'm fly like a gator. So are you a, a crocodile or are you a, uh, an alligator? Because despite what people may think, those two things are different. <laughs> I've got pilot blood. I'm a real risk taker. Pirate riding the flood. Badass money maker. You know, haters will say that she allegedly stole billions of dollars in Bitcoin, but I am not one of them. I am one of her loyal followers. We're going to come back to the music video, but there's additional, there's additional info. So like, I'm a motherfucking bad bitch. Go on, make me a sandwich. You annoying like vag itch. 
<laughs> just fucking bad bitch bad bitch motherfucking bad bitch bad bitch bad bitch motherfucking bad bitch i like really loved the vocal dynamics of that whole bad bitch bad bitch motherfucking bad bitch bad bitch bad bitch <laughs> also i love the way that she just drifts all over the beat as if it's not there <laughs> she sees the beat and then she dodges it because she's not a sheep she's actually the goat of wall street i'm a motherfucking bad bitch go on make me a sandwich sandwich it appears though that the funds have been a, a 3.6 billion worth of crypto has been recovered by the Department of Justice, which is interesting. Here's another thing. The the Department of Justice is not a accusing the married couple of the hack itself, just being in possession of a lot of the money. So maybe they just made a really good deal. Okay, so she's got other music videos, Bad Bitch being a, a hit single, we've all heard it. And then there's also, I think she's given talks. Hear firsthand how Heather Morgan socially engineered her way into exclusive parties and expensive political fun. I want to see her socially engineer herself out of this uh, Department of Justice investigation. That'll be cool to see. And then she can give another talk on that and talk about how bad of a bitch she is, actually. Bad, bad bitch, bad, bad bitch, bitch, motherfucking bad bitch. bitch. All right, this is, uh, it's like an earworm, you know? When she's not rapping under her alter ego, RazzleCon, Morgan is busy writing her Inc. Magazine and Forbes columns about persuasion, sales best practices, and entrepreneurship. Yeah, so she's also a Forbes contributor. Whenever you see like one of those articles, it's like Forbes contributor. Maybe it's... Maybe it's RazzleCon. <laughs> Some places I've infiltrated. The Mori Povich Show? Bad bitch, bad bitch, motherfucking bad bitch. Damn, it has come full circle and I'm excited about it. RazzleCon, my queen. Let's resume the music video. Spirit of a revolutionary, power of a dictator. Love to be contrary, but I'm fly like a gator. The, she honestly... To her credit, her bars are very dense. Every sentence is like a is a is a work of art for Razzle Khan, well, which is why she's um, all considered to be one of the best rappers ever to live. I don't have a citation for that, but I love to be contrary, but I'm fly like a gator. I've got pilot blood. I'm a real risk taker. What is pilot blood? Is that like you? A if you have a family member who like knows how to fly a plane. I'm sly like a gator. I can move markets. I'm a bad bitch. I'm rich as fuck. Uh, and uh, my uncle can uh, can fly a Cessna. It's a pretty strong bloodline we got going on over here. <laughs> Grandmother crocodile, weirder than an X-file. Breathe fire, silver. So sexy when I slither. Wait, she breathes fire and shits silver? <laughs> Sorry, there's like so much. Now she's a grandmother crocodile and I don't know what that means. It's clear that I've done a lot about the animal kingdom here today. Uh, and then and she's sexy when she slithers. She's got a sparkle on her little finger that's silver. We know that from the earlier line. Did she wipe with her hand instead of toilet paper? I guess when you shit silver, you can do that. But don't try this at home, okay? We're not all grandmother crocodiles. Sparkle on my little finger, hella barazzled ear to ear. Hella barazzled ear to ear? I thought she might have meant bedazzled, but like, did you, like Google is also asking me if I meant bedazzled. But no, didn't you hear Razzle Khan? Barazzled, Razzle Khan. Oh, it's like a pun on her name, perhaps. Poised to throw a singer, playing on their worst fear. Razzle Khan. So she's like walking through Wall Street, and then we've got these random extras who join her revolution, I guess. And then there's like maybe it's a woman in a grandmother outfit. Maybe this is grandmother crocodile. And then who's this? What is this, the Riddler? What, what's going on? Who is this? Who is this crypto cowboy over here? Now I'm just curious about, is all of this stays like this guy? What's this guy's story? Playing on their worst fear. My worst fear is, I don't know how she knew that it was um, somebody in wearing a gas mask in a recliner, but like, uh, she nailed it, honestly. Hit it right on the head. Con, the first time she better win. Come real far, but don't know where I'm headed. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. How does she have such moves? You can't teach this. This comes from years of dancing on Wall Street, specifically. Always be a goat, not a goddamn sheep. Email me. Fuck your message at the beep. 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 I love the people in the back. These poor tourists are like, what on God's green earth is going on? Beep. 
it's worth mentioning that she uh, is wearing a hat that says zero fucks, so. Russell comes the name, that hot grandma. You really want to bang. Always run the guilt game. Wait a second. <laughs> Why is this entire verse about being a grandmother? Isn't she like in her 30s? Yeah, she's 31. I'm just going to call it and say that she is, well, she is not technically a grandmother. She considers herself a grandmother of the game uh, because she is, you know, <clears throat> just so influential to hip hop culture that that a lot of you know contemporary acts today treat her as a grandmother um so i just figured i'd add that you know full genius comment in on the on the lyrics here you really want to bang always run the guilt game ever since i was 15 what <laughs> i don't want to do a deep dive here, but however, however, I do feel it in my duty to acknowledge she always runs the guilt game, a grandmother I'd like to F, so she's kind of reiterating herself, but then she says, ever since I was 15, and why does she say it? I don't know. I don't think she should have said it. I don't think any of us should have heard it. I don't, I, I'm sorry that you're hearing it. There's no reason for her to say this, except for she's bad at rhyming. <laughs> I mean, she's good. She's good. She's the best rapper alive. <laughs> Better than most writers. Creepier than most girls. Weirder than. Excuse me? I'm many things a rapper, an economist, a journalist, a writer, a CEO, and a dirty, 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 dirty hoe. <sighs> we were having fun. I don't, I'm not anymore having fun. This is not fun. What the hell is this? Go what is going on? And y'all wonder why I left the tech industry. <laughs> she also lists her credentials. She's a multi-hyphenate. You know, she's she's done a lot. Most importantly is being a dirty hoe uh, because she says that the most times. Really, it's an impressive, illustrative career that she's built for herself. And I think that that's something to be celebrated. And and why Razakhan is what Us Weekly called the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> Razakhan, the Versace better win. Come real far, but don't know where I'm headed. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. So in a subplot here, there's like a woman in what I thought was a grandma wig and now I think is a shower cap, uh, has always had some sort of obstruction in front of her eyes. And so now she's, she can't see where she's headed because she's come real far, but doesn't know where she's headed. I think maybe that's a, it's a reference to the lyrics. I think. The Versace better win, got the bling that win. All right, she's got the she's got bling because she's the Versace Bedouin as well, and I don't know why she's saying that either. Pussy bitches saying stop about to pop ain't going quit. They say rise a filthy bitch, but they're jealous of my tits. They're jealous of my okay. All right. My clothes, these rings, my hoes. Everyone knows I don't fuck with no bros. Uh, unless they're gay, gays don't count. They're exempt. I feel like I'm watching like a school project from like an eighth grader <laughs> you know what i mean because it's so genius it must be created by uh you know um a prodigy is what i'm saying not because it's like sloppily put together and um childish no because like this is clearly someone who was put on this earth to make this art silver on my fingers and boots on my feet always be a goat not a goddamn sheep Honestly, now the chorus of the song relax. What I now to understand is the chorus of the song is relaxing to me because I don't need to keep up with any of the um, dense wordplay, and I can just like let myself listen to the beat um, and the, enjoy the music. You know. Call me. Fuck your message at the beep. 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 Everyone worries too much about what's proper, but not Raz. No shame. That don't stop her. Does she just that don't stop her? Don't know what that's supposed to. Okay. She doesn't worry about what's proper. Laws, regulations, no, 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 zero fucks. It's on the hat. And fuck your message at the beep. <laughs> Blindly following rules is for fools. Instead, I work the edge cases with my tools. <laughs> Then she goes into specifically how she social engineered uh, uh, a Bitcoin exchange out of billions of dollars. Awkward as fuck. Add shit like a whirling dervish better duck. This bitch is Turkish. Don't pressure luck. ISIS can't handle them Kurdish. This is the last place I expected ISIS to turn up. 
Mark your Jane Austen romance. Brother be taken. A taxidermy class. She is literally speed running the most different topics I could possibly imagine. Isis, Jane Austen, taxidermy class. I'm genuinely impressed. Prefer Vietnam over France. Doing my jerk off dance. I just can't keep going on. <laughs> this has to be over soon, right? I feel like I've been watching this video for 40 minutes. What is happening right now? Looking like a gay male stripper. But my synesthesia world is even trippier. <laughs> <sighs> There's more music videos. I don't I don't think Okay, hold on. Music video compilation. I just maybe wanna just like I'm just a little curious. <laughs> solution to me too no way no way this is we are done we are we are done so that was really something we just had an experience together i think she's prolific there's more music videos there's more tiktoks we didn't even watch any of the tiktoks let's watch one so along with these ukrainian sewer rocks that i've saved i have these razzle nails that are just like they're layers of nail painted over okay all right <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying oh that's the dude that's the husband why you don't understand this is my commentary on social media and how fucking superficial and consumerist our society holy shit dude she just called us all out we're on social media right now razzle khan got us dude that social commentary was hot did you see what she did with those pancakes? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is clearly unhinged and it needs to stop. I'm sorry that we had to do all of this. I didn't expect to be making this video either. And I didn't expect it to go this way. I just thought there was a music video. And now I have more questions than I have answers. But thank you, my premium audience, for joining me here on this uh, painful jaunt through the crocodile of Wall Street. I wish you all a very commentary on the consumerist and superficial elements of social media. Stay gold, everybody. <laughs>